Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now today I am really excited to be trying out a new recipe to me and that is for Cheddar Bay Drop Biscuits. I found this on the Weight Watcher website and they sound and look delicious so I definitely wanted to give them a try. Plus they start with the two ingredient dough that I absolutely love. So this is just another way to use that dough. Let me jump in here and show you what you're gonna need to make these. So first off, since this recipe does basically have the two ingredient dough base, you're gonna need those two ingredients which are self-rising flour. You're gonna need two cups of that and then two and a half cups of the non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Down here, I've got a half cup or two ounces of a low fat cheese mix. Now the recipe is calling for sharp cheddar, low fat sharp cheddar, but the only low fat cheese that I have on hand is this Mexican style blend. So that's what I'm gonna be using and hopefully that works. Down here I've got two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then that is a half teaspoon of chili powder. The recipe calls for cayenne pepper. I don't have that on hand so I'm gonna just be subbing in with that chili powder. Over here I've got two tablespoons of melted butter and in here I have roughly a quarter cup of chopped parsley. And that is what you're gonna to need to make this. First thing you wanna do is get your oven preheating to 425 and then you're gonna take a medium sized bowl and you're going to add two cups of flour to that. You like my uh, handleless <laughs> measuring cup here. These are really neat. I got these at Walmart, a, a set of, I don't know, there was a bunch of them in it. And they were great until all the uh, handles started snapping off. But I remember that was two cups. So you've got two cups of flour. And then to that, you're gonna add in your sugar, garlic, and chili powder. And mix that all up. And once I've got that all stirred up, I'm gonna add in my parsley and my cheese and then I'm gonna stir that real well and now I'm gonna add in my two and a half cups of yogurt And now I'm gonna just stir this until a soft dough forms. Okay, that's looking good. So now I'm gonna get out my cookie sheets and I will show you the next step. All right, I've got myself a cookie sheet here that I put a piece of parchment paper on. And so now I'm gonna take this dough and I'm gonna drop it onto here and roughly quarter cup amounts now the recipe, so I'm just taking a quarter cup here, scoop. I'm gonna just drop it on like that. Now the recipe calls for an eighth a cup amounts, which to me, that sounds too small. I tend to make Weight Watcher recipes bigger than what they have them at, so they're calling these mini, mini drop biscuits, and I don't do mini, I always say that. So I'm gonna double the size of these. And obviously, therefore, double the points, but I'd rather have a little more points and a decent sized whatever it is I'm making. So I'm making these double the size that they suggest, but that's just how I do. So I'm gonna continue dropping these on here. This one's getting stuck. Uh, buy a quarter cup, and then I will be back. All right, I've got these on here. I had to kind of go back and um, change the amount just a little bit because I wanted to end up with exactly 12, which is what I've got here. So that's exactly half of what the recipe says you're gonna get. So like I said, I, I that way having 12, I exactly doubled the size of what the uh, recipe says. So I've got these on here now. Now I'm going to bake them in my preheated oven at 425. It says for about 20 minutes, but again, that's for biscuits that are gonna be half the size of these. So I'm gonna start at 20 and then I'm gonna just kind of watch and see how it goes. 
but um, I will be back once these are baked. I let these cook for just about 23 minutes, so a little bit longer than the uh, 20 minutes that you would do for the smaller ones. And they've started to brown as you can see here, but I think they might still be a little doughy, um, which I guess for us is fine because we actually like our baked stuff a little bit more on the doughy side. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and call that good. So. Now what you do is you take your butter and you just brush that on the tops of these. And these smell really, really good by the way. So I'm hoping they taste as good as they smell. Okay, now I'm gonna let those just sit for about a minute or so so they cool a little bit and then we will let you know what they taste like. Okay, I've got some of these on a plate. Didn't let them cool very long, but you know, we never let anything cool very long. Now, the points on these, if you don't double them, I believe are two points a piece on all three colors. If you do double the size like I did here, that changes it with Weight Watcher math to five points a piece on green, and then four points a piece on the blue and purple. So maybe a little bit high, but I don't know. We'll see if it's worth it, depending on what they taste like. Cause they're good sized. I think these are just as good, or it's about the same size as the ones at what, Red Lobster? Yeah. Yeah, so good sized. So I'm gonna have my husband try one and let us know. Why don't you break one open first? see if we even got them cooked inside. They smell really good. That looks cooked to me. Yeah, real doughy. Or soft looking, not doughy. Hot. So I just was eating grapes. Oh, okay. So we're transitioning <laughs> and, from and grapes. amazingly, that's screwed with my palate. We got Bella down here. Say hi, Bella. These are really good. You know, the, the, the texture and consistency are nice. Um, now they're not fluffy, but they're also not dense. It's this kind of... Real soft looking. Yeah, they're real soft and, and um, really nice. You know, they go really well with butter, and then the seasoning you have are really, everything's really subtle. It's not a real strong flavor in any one area. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely not your plain biscuit. Um, and you know, I, I think those will go really well with like the salmon. I mean, they go really well just as a snack too. Yeah. Desert. So you like them. Mm -hmm. Do they taste anything like the Red Lobster biscuits? That's really what I wanted to know. No. No, they don't? Ah, darn it. Because they kind of they kind of smell like them. Yeah, you may have. I think it's the texture. Now, I realize taste and texture aren't the same thing, but the texture is throwing you off too. Because that's one of the things about the. I'm gonna try a bite myself. The the red lobster ones. No, I see what you're saying. The texture is well, and it's actually got kind of a tanginess to it from the yogurt. Mm -hmm. Cause this is essentially yeah, yeah. the, the two ingredient uh, pizza dough. So yeah. yeah, definitely I would not say. So if you. Unfortunately that they taste like the Red Lobster biscuits. If you biscuits. season them the same way, but made a regular biscuit, I the, think you would very much have replicated the Red Lobster. Yeah. But the, what makes it uh, Weight Watchers kind of has, has affected that. It's that too, which I absolutely love the two ingredient pizza dough. So I like the taste. Oh yeah, they taste great. Um, because it tastes a lot, kind of like the pizza dough, just with seasoning in it, which actually, I keep meaning to uh, season my pizza dough, add seasoning to it, I think that would be good. But um, yeah, they're definitely yummy. Hi Bella. But uh, sadly, that is definitely not gonna pass as a uh, Red Lobster biscuit, but 
I can only imagine how many points the Red Lobster Biscuits are compared to these. So yeah, these are good. Different kind of a different kind of a taste than what I was expecting, but still really good. And I think these are something I would make again. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Well, he's going for another one. So there we go. That's all we need to know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.